plastic bottles can float, but can people float on plastic bottles? That's the question a young entrepreneur in Cameroon asked himself. And the answer is yes. Ismail Esomebode has started to build unique plastic boats by tying bottles together. And Felicia, these boats have a double use. First, they are an affordable alternative for fishermen. And second, the initiative helps to clean up the environment, at least parts of it. Far too often, the drainage systems of African cities are choked with plastic waste. Let's take a look at how the boats are made. A river of plastic bottles chokes this drainage system in Yaoundé, Cameroon. When it rains, the entire neighborhood is flooded. Ismail Isome Ebone and his crew don't work for the sanitation department. They're volunteers for a local NGO called Madiba and Nature. For them, this is a gold mine of valuable raw material. One day when I was walking back from university, it started raining heavily. I ran for shelter to wait it out. That's when I saw heaps of plastic bottles clogging the bridge. I was shocked. I thought, surely something can be done with all these bottles. Who will clean them up? I saw it as a challenge. Ismail, who studied engineering, eventually devised a way to convert the bottles into something practical and useful. After being cleaned and checked for quality, the bottles become the basic building blocks for constructing what the organization calls eco-boats. Close to a thousand bottles are needed for a six-meter canoe-shaped vessel. It takes about three days to make one. Additional materials needed are purchased with money and from boat sales. We do have a cash flow problem at times, and we sometimes don't have enough money to build the boats. We just can't construct enough for all the fishermen in need. There are nearly 1,000 fishermen here in the area, and if we don't get the money together, we simply can't do it. Ismail and his team hope their initiative will have a far-reaching impact on the environment. So far, they have made around 30 eco-boats. Fishing boats in Cameroon are typically made of wood, which makes them expensive to repair. Another reason eco-boats are such an attractive alternative, and not just for fishermen. One of Ismail's boats can be found in Kribi, a beach resort about 300 kilometers southwest of Yaoundé. Valery Christian owns a small bar next to the beach. For a small fee, Tourists there can take the 20-kilogram boat out on the water. Valerie manages the rental service. It's really great. It's a lot of fun, easy to handle, and it also helps me. It's a little boost for my business. When Madiba and Nature first came here and offered me the chance to manage the boat renter, I wasn't sure it would work. But now, the people see it and are really impressed. And it all happens without any advertising on radio or television. It's just word of mouth. Hundreds of bottles filled with nothing but air. That makes the boats light and easy to handle. And while they aren't exactly watertight, it would be very difficult to sink one. We have an ecotourism program. People can register via our website, Madiba and Nature. And we also have people coming in through international links, like visit.org. It's a platform for social impact travel experiences that could help increase our earnings. In 2014, a regulation was put in place in Cameroon that required plastic bottle manufacturers to take responsibility for recycling their products. But four years on, Ismail's boat-making initiative is still making a rather significant contribution towards improving the situation in the country. A really cool idea, isn't it? Even if it doesn't get rid of all the plastic pollution, but it's definitely a great step in the right direction. 
You've been watching Eco at Africa, a joint environmental magazine production by Channels TV, DW, and Kwese TV. Thanks for joining us, and bye-bye from me in Accra, Ghana. Yes, and thank you so much for watching. If any of these ideas captured your interest, then you can watch the video on our website and ask your questions. The addresses will be up in a moment. I'm Felicia Endersby, and I'd be very happy if you joined us next week for another tour of the environment with Eco at Africa. Goodbye from Johannesburg.